There are four concepts in this example. They are variables, which will contain information stored in memory, clearing bits, making the bits become zero, setting the bits, making bits become one, and writing friendly software, which allows one piece of software to interact well with other pieces. Let's begin. The problem states to write software to set bit 4 and clear bits 0 and 1 of an 8-bit variable. So the first question is, what's a variable? In this case, we have a variable n, which will be 8 bits wide and will exist in memory. How do we get it into memory? One way to define a variable in RAM is to use the origin statement and specify a RAM location, in this case 800 followed by the name of the variable n and a reserve multiple byte pseudo-op. In this case, since we want an 8-bit variable, we will reserve one byte or 8 bits for the variable n. And this creates a variable. Assume for now that the variable n has 8 bits specified by this b7, b6, b5, b4, b3, b2, b1, and b0. And the problem says, make bit 4 equal to a 1 and make bit 0 and 1 equal to a 0. One way we could solve this is to bring the hexadecimal constant hex 1, 0 into register A and store it out into N. When we execute the load A instruction, the value of 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 is put into register A. If we store that value of register A into variable n, all 8 bits are replaced. Indeed, this did create bit 4 equal to 1 and bits 1 and 0 equal to 0. But what happened to the other bits that we didn't specify? In particular, look what happened to bits 7, 6, and 5. 3 and 2, they all became 0. And it didn't say to do that. What we just created was an unfriendly function, a function which did more than we had asked it to do. So we will see that writing friendly software is a way in which we will do just what we're asked and not modify the other bits. So how do we do that? The OR operation has an output which will be a 1 if either input is a 1. We can use the OR to set bits, in particular if b is an arbitrary bit, which could be a 1 or a 0, and if we OR it with a 1, the output will become a 1. So this is a way to set a bit. The AND function is another Boolean operation, such that the output is a 1 if and only if both inputs are a 1. We can use the AND function to clear bits. Again, if b is an arbitrary bit, 1 or a 0, and if we AND it with a 0, the output will be a 0. So, in summary, we could use the OR with a 1 to set a bit and the AND with a 0 to clear a bit. So the basic way we will solve this problem is to first bring the variable N into the accumulator. The load instruction will make a copy of the variable N into the register A, here signified by the B7 through B0. In this solution, we will set bit 4 first. And we'll do that using the OR operation. Because of the pound sign, the dollar sign 1, 0 is treated as a constant. And so the initial value of register A, which contains B7, B6, down to B0, is ORed with the constant 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Again, the 1 placed in the bit 4 position. And the result of the OR operation will be to set bit 4 here in the accumulator. Next, we'll AND register A with the constant FC. Again, the pound means constant, the dollar sign means hexadecimal, and FC is the number, shown here in binary as 1111100. Notice there are zeros in this constant in the positions that I want to clear the bits. The result of the AND operation will be to clear bits 1 and 0 as desired. The last instruction in this sequence 
will be to store the result, which was temporarily calculated in register A, back into variable N. Notice the result of these four instructions is to set bit 4 and clear bits 0 and 1, as desired. This solution is friendly because it only performs the desired operation and leaves the other five bits unchanged. In this way, it's less likely that this code will interact in a bad way with other codes, and that's why it's called friendly. In summary, there are four concepts shown in this example. The first was a variable is a location in RAM memory into which we can store data. The second is to use the AND operation to allow us to clear bits. Third is we use the OR operation to set bits. And lastly, we made the program friendly by setting and clearing the bits as told and leaving the other bits unchanged. Thank you very much.